What is up you guys? Welcome back to another daily vlog. It is day number... I didn't say it because I don't know what day it is, but hey. Today I am making a brisket. That is what this vlog is going to be all about. Me making my first brisket ever. So, join me on this crazy adventure of a brisket, which is a two day process. So I'll be filming this over the course of two days. My dilemma is that I already started doing the whole brisket thing. I cut off all sorts of fat and yuckety yuckety yuck that you don't want on there. Now you leave some fat, but the hard fats you want to get off of the brisket. So I read, like I said, this is my first brisket ever. And I began seasoning it. I have seasoning, I have pepper, I'm putting a layer of brown sugar on it. So I, I didn't show you guys the trimming and stuff, and my hands were a little too messy to show you guys all the seasoning, but I will show you, and what I do when I season it is then I, I just pat it, pat it, don't rub it, I pat it in to get it into that top layer of meat and just get it on there good. It looks like there's spots of brown sugar, but really some of it is already absorbed. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this brisket right here and I am going to let it sit overnight in the refrigerator. I'm going to wrap it up in plastic and I'll show you guys. Maybe I'll do a little time lapse or something. But I'll show you. I'm going to let it sit overnight in the refrigerator and let all of this dry rub and marinade get into the meat. Really suck it in, suck it up, try to draw some of that moisture and just get it going. So here we go. Guys, it is ready. Not ready. It has got to rest for about an hour more at room temperature. I need to bring it up to room temperature. It's so cold in the refrigerator. You don't want to cook your meat at cold refrigerator temperature. You want to cook it at room temperature. So I'm going to sit it down on the counter for about an hour. I'm going to go shower and not shave. I trimmed my, my goatee. Can you tell? I trimmed it. I didn't shave. I just trimmed. It was getting a little crazy. I wanted to even it up a little bit with what was going on on this face here. So I did that. But I gotta go take a shower and freshen up. Get a cup of coffee. I'll see you back in an hour. The meat has rested for a while. It's almost, I mean, to me it's still cold, but it's getting closer to room temperature. Now I'm going to inject it with some beef broth mixed with some honey and I'm gonna inject it and I'll show you a, I'll do a little time lapse or a video of me injecting that meat with all this delicious goodness. Now the reason I'm doing this is because it's gonna be on the grill for a long time and I want to make sure it stays nice and moist through the process. When I cut this thing later I want juices dripping from it. Let's hope this works you guys. First brisket ever. Hope it turns out good. Guys, this is Mario. First okay. time I woke up before 12. I know. I've, I've never seen you this early before. I almost got scared. I he <laughs> walked around the corner and I almost punched him. I thought I was being robbed. But because I've never seen him this early, he's like never awake this early. And we bought tomatoes. I'm expecting salsa. Oh, nice. Right. Salsa. <laughs> I'll make some later. Nice. Okay, I gotta get the grill set up now for this brisket. Gotta uncover this bad boy. Always top off the hopper. I might have to go get some more. Get some more wood pellets, that is. See if we can get some smoke out of this bad boy. We need to freshen up on this. It's 
keep the air moist too, I'm gonna use some apple juice inside of here. Just to keep things good. This glorious piece of meat. Cannot wait to get this in there and get this done. Well, I mean, in the next eight to ten hours. Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. Now we wait. We just have to wait for many, 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 many hours. I'm not gonna touch it for at least six to eight hours. More than likely, that's how long it's gonna take to cook if we're doing it right. If it cooks faster, then I'm in trouble and I'm gonna be scared. I don't think it will. So we'll figure out what else we gotta do throughout the day. But when I see you again, we'll be us checking that brisket. It's been a long time, you guys. It is now. 344, 944, or 844, so four hours, so 944, 1044, 1144, 1244, 144, 244, 344. I've been sitting here at 158 for a while now. It's not rising in temperature, but the grill is at the temperature of, it's kind of it's been spiking from 220 to up to 230, sometimes 240, back down to 220. So just getting, it's like six hours, I'm starting to get antsy. I know I should probably be sitting here just relaxing, but I still have to take it out, wrap it in foil, stick it back on for another hour at least. <sighs> the pressure. We are at that point now where I'm gonna take out the brisket and we are going to wrap it in foil. I'm gonna put some butter over the top of it and then we're gonna stick it back inside the grill for about another hour or so. And then hopefully, hopefully, all of this hard work it pays off and we have some juicy, delicious pieces of meat. I am so scared to be opening this grill right now. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And look at this gorgeous piece of meat right here. It's just layered with juice on the top, which will fall off when I take it out. And then I'm gonna bring it over right over here and stick it on this foil to wrap it. Oh man, that looks so good. Okay guys, one more hour and we should be done. We're wrapped up, we're in there. Oh, it, just, it looks so good. I'm just hoping the inside looks as good as the outside. I'm so excited. I think we're ready, you guys, to pull this bad boy out. I gotta go put it in the kitchen. I don't have a cooler right now that's clean, so I'm gonna go stick it in the oven. I'm not gonna turn on the oven, but I'm just gonna go stick this in the oven and let it rest for another hour once I pull it out. I already... I kinda already... Oh, there it is. I have been checking it for tenderness with this little probe here. I already know the temp is good. But I just been checking. Oh, dude, it, it just it goes in so nicely. Oh, this is good. I really hope this is gonna. My mouth is watering right now. It's really watering bad. I, I need to get this resting so I can get into this. You understand the juices are just flowing. It is that time, you guys. I need to get the brisket.
brisket out of storage, as I call it, in the oven. And I am gonna unveil the masterpiece. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Here we go, wish me luck. Oh, oh, what is this? There's juices everywhere, babe, everywhere. Okay, this is gonna have to get ripped. Oh yeah, I would say this is a little moist. Look at this thing. Look, juicy. Look at this, you guys. Juices everywhere. It is tender. Does it have, I know they say there's a brisket jiggle. Does it have the brisket jiggle, you guys? See this part jiggling a little bit. Wow, I cannot wait to cut into this bad boy. The way I've seen people cut it is they cut it in half pretty much. There. And I can't remember the names of the parts of the brisket, but I'm gonna cut it, slice it, because I don't have a cutting board big enough to put this whole thing on. I mean, it might fit on my cutting board, but it's gonna be uh, pretty close to overflowing. So I'm gonna cut it in half in the cookie tray here, and then I'm gonna transfer little bits over to the cutting board. Oh wow. Oh joy. Oh wow. Oh I hope that's so perfect. I hope so. There we go. Get it over. Get it over. There we go. Look at this babe. Look, come here. Look at this. Look at this. Just like, I'm not gonna try and put it. I don't want to squeeze all the juice out, but. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. I think you did a wonderful job on your first Ooh. try. So I'm gonna slice us some slices of this bad boy up, and I'm gonna try it for the first time. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. I swear, I will try it. Let's see, I, I think it's a little tougher than it's supposed to be. So it's definitely not, um, our favorites are good. But I'm gonna say this, for my first brisket, it's definitely not the soft fall apart meat that I want. So I gotta figure out what I did wrong there. But, it's not out of control tough. It's actually pretty good. I just, I think it needs to be, like look, look. I mean, I guess it tears okay. Okay, so I have to say for my first brisket, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it's not tough, but I want it to fall apart, but the flavors are on point. Becky liked it. I'm enjoying it. I think it looks really good. Look at that color. Look at that. And then it just drips. It just drips. And then Becky made this killer potato salad right here. So, I can't wait. We have some brisket and some potato salad. Man, if we had some greens or it'd be perfect. But thank you for watching me cook my first brisket for this vlog. Let me know if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up, share it with all your friends, subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you next time.